Hello my dear children welcome to English class in this class we are going to study a beautiful poem the poem name is foreign lands the poem name is foreign lands written by robert louis stevenson he was a scottish writer and poet who liked to travel to different places his journeys formed the basis of many of his stories his well known books of poems are a child's garden of verses and songs of travel and other verses so in this poem we can see the poet talks about the dreams of a little child up into the cherry tree who should climb but little me i held the trunk with both my hands and looked abroad on on foreign lands once again up into the cherry tree who should climb but little me i held the trunk with both my hands and looked abroad on foreign lands now we can see the explanation of this first stanza in this stanza we get to see the poet is talking about a little child climbing up a cherry tree and who is this a little child yes it is a poet himself so the poet says that this little child has climbed up the cherry tree and it's holding the trunk with both his hands he looks abroad on four lands so here abroad means in different directions now we can see the next stanza i saw the next door garden lie adorned with the flowers before my eye and many pleasant places more that i had never seen before i saw the next door garden lie adorned with the flowers before my eye and many pleasant places more that i had never seen before i saw the dimpling river pass and be the skies blue looking glass the dusty roads go up and down with the people traveling in into town i saw the dimpling river pass and be the skies blue looking glass the dusty roads go up and down with the people tram tramping it into town so dear children listen in this stanza we get to know about the things the child sees here you can see the garden with beautiful flowers you can see lots of flowers with the different colors the garden is looking very beautiful he sees the garden in the next door which is full of beautiful flowers the flowers are decorated beautifully you can see the flowers then along with the garden the poet is able to see other pleasant places that he had never got a chance to see he got a chance to see other different different places also here the poet says that the dimpling river passing that and at the same time he compare the river with the blue sky and what happen here also happen to see the roofs on which people going into the town the people are walking on the road they are going the going to the town now we can see the new words abroad that means far away abroad means far away adorn that means decorator adorn means decorator dimpling that means twisting and turning twisting and turning looking glass that means mirror looking glass means mirror so dear children i hope you understood first three stanzas of the poem so the next part we will see in the next class thank you dear children